Good games, good games, and now it's low. So I think this should be losers semis, right? Yeah, lo yeah. losers semifinal, low versus baby Caleb. Okay. I'm gonna call him BC. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so winner of this is top three, huh? Yeah. Well, yep. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, this is getting close. Going to Pika Ditto. I know Robert was playing Falcon for the majority of the games. You mean low? Or low, rather, yeah. Well, low told me he was playing uh, like Pika against every character except Falcon against Pika. Huh. That's what it sounded like, he, what he was saying. But uh... So for him to go, if he does choose Pika, that will be a little bit of a, kind of a surprise, honestly. Yeah, I don't know why he would... Uh, I mean, he went Falcon against... Josh Brody and I. Yeah. So Dogs over here coaching. Yeah, and wasn't Dogs just coaching his opponent? <laughs> he was. He Whose side plays, are you on, He kind of plays both <laughs> sides, huh? Yeah. I think maybe underdog. Maybe potentially. So, you know, low could be, or Cable could be the underdog. Maybe. That's maybe. what he's feeling. Okay, you know? so I, I'm thinking maybe what we saw here was a double blind. Interesting. So okay. I'm, I'm, wow. I'm guessing they double blind and Caleb went Kirby because he probably expected Low to go uh, Falcon. Yeah. Go to go Falcon. Very cool. So okay. he's trying to counter pick, but uh, Low really only plays Falcon against Pika. So in a double blind, he's happy to. Sure. Uh, what do you think about Caleb in this matchup? Does he have a lot of experience playing? You know, um, Pika. Uh, 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 you know, I'm not sure. He he um. In the past, he's played all three of Pika, Kirby, Falcon. And so I wouldn't think that generally if you're a Pika, Kirby, Falcon player, the Kirby versus Pika matchup is not going to be something you're going to play a lot just right. because you have access to these like two better matchups. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't necessarily mean he's bad at it, but, uh, sure, sure. but I would expect him to have a little less experience. And it's just at the end of the day, you have to play what you feel comfortable in your heart. You know, sometimes you can try to play what's right on paper, but I mean, I can attest to that personally. Like. Yeah, you I, gotta play with what you're comfortable. My guess is uh, Caleb was not hoping to play get this that, matchup. Get that Falcon. Yeah, Double I don't blind think, pick. I, don't I think agree. He was looking for this, but uh, smart for Low to go Pika here. Yeah, well, you know, kind of playing it safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Low before the tournament practiced a lot of Pika. He's comfortable with the Pika. Ditto. He really enjoys it. So yeah. I don't think he would have been too disappointed if if it had turned out to be the Pika at all. But that probably would have been in Caleb's favor. Yeah. So game one here, looking pretty convincing for Pikachu. Well, look at snare chain. And Low is looking to capitalize. Oh, little tech flub. I think he meant to jump. Yeah, still got get that quite combo. a lot of percent here. Oh yeah. So the big thing with Kirby, you know, infamously is the those keyboard pivot up tilts, mm -hmm. which are very very like stark. Yes. In movement. Yeah. Yes. You can uh, really come in there and. It's hit much it. easier to pivot up tilt on keyboard than on a, a normal controller. Wow. So okay. kind of in the early years of. The online meta, the uh, the keyboard curve was pretty infamous. Mm. Just pivot up tilts when most controller players weren't able to do them cons consistently. Plus uh, the great DI you get from keyboard. These days, though, I mean most controller players can also pivot up tilts. So mm. It's it's less less exciting, but the consistency and speed that it's possible to control is mm -hmm. still pretty scary. Did you see Low reading K Web on those? He's Doing two jumps and he's reading him and just keeps going in with that up air, racking it for saying. Looking yeah. like Low is relatively comfortable on this match. I'm sure he knows the matchup very well. Has yeah. a lot of experience in it. I would say the hardest part of this matchup as Pika is when, when Kirby's at like 0%. That should be it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is looking like it. Yeah, it just finds that edge guard. Kirby had plenty of jumps. But... Low taking a little water break after his first win, and Dog going back to the coaching, it's coaching game here. Yes, yeah, so I think what we'll see now is probably the Pika Ditto. Mm -hmm. I think he's so because so Low has to pick first. So I, I don't think he'll pick Falcon because uh, I don't think yeah. he wants to play Falcon Kirby. I think he knows he's gonna win, um, or has a potential to win. You know, staying Pikachu. So I think he's gonna go with his best bet here and just. Stay. The Pika Ditto should and be pretty competitive, though. Yeah, I mean, I Caleb's think so. been playing really well in it. Mm -hmm. I think he has a better chance of going Pika. 
It seems unlikely that he would stay Kirby. I think he is. Uh, he, no, could he's switching. He's he could switching. switch to Falcon, actually. That's true. But he's he, has a, he has a top tier, right? He's good with all three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pika, Caleb Pika, definitely Pika. at one point played Falcon. But gotcha. in this tournament, he's had such good results in the Pika Ditto. Uh, you know, yeah. why not? So game two here. So you have this counter pick. Um, or this change up of characters by baby Caleb will be advantageous to him. And this is certainly like what, you know... This is what Caleb wanted to be playing, right? He kind of gambled on like, yeah. okay, I'm gonna try and get this really good matchup of, of Kirby Falcon, see if you can, you know, kind of scam him. Mm -hmm. Did not, maybe catch him, uh, get yeah, surprised. Catch him, yeah. Maybe he doesn't know. That did not work out. So mm -hmm. now he's playing the real matchup. Right? This this should be as fair as it can get. Nice. Calling him out twice to top lap, wow. exploiting you know the weaknesses of the, uh, the keyboard. Not easy though. Caleb's recoveries are very good. No, he is. He's. Wow, that was a very far back air there. Just got the full hit on that. And Low looking pretty confident in this matchup right now. Oh yeah, he's played a lot of it. He uh, he's a big fan of it. He uh, he'll, he'll happily play friendlies with anyone if mm. he could do it. Yeah, I was playing with him earlier. He's. It's good. Caleb, going back to top lat. I, I noticed he's uh, unusually comfortable on top lat for a beat. Yeah. Usually in the ditto, you mostly play on the ground. Just kind of fight for neutral, like, you know, center stage and stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, the up air is so strong that you don't really typically want to be below the other person. Mm. But Caleb is good enough at it that uh, he's not scared of the up air. He'll just be above you. You can Ooh. definitely see the abuse of those angles, though, like you were talking about earlier. With the limited number of options, Low has been doing a really proficient job of edge guarding him. Pretty much most of the time he up bees, he's been reading him. Yeah, you know, it's a uh, wow. kind of trade consistency for, for number of options. Exactly, yeah. And that's really. With at this high level, I think it's it's bad. Because <laughs> you, you see Low just punishing, when punishing, and punishing on those. Yeah, Low does that exactly every time. He's, going. he's like just out of position mm -hmm. to go diagonally, you know, up. Yep. Or diagonal to ledge. Oh, great. Really Shield pressure on top yeah. left. Low running away with it. Yeah, Low looking pretty confident in this game. These dare, this dare shield pressure on top, or on the, the platforms. It's this is such a stacked like tournament. Like, we have so many high level players. We're seeing a potential four stock right here. You know, in top eight. This is crazy. Yeah, top, uh, top four. We're top four now, yeah. Top four. This is definitely one of the biggest tournaments of the year. For sure. Ooh, good downward DI. See if we can make a conversion here. It's definitely an uphill battle. This this is best of five. Best of three. Best of three. So the whole tournament is best of three. Uh, no, uh, loser's finals would be. Okay. Because I know Brody and I may play best of five. Yeah, yeah. Winner's finals is the final grand. Gotcha. The reason for that, uh, for anyone wondering in chat, is that the venue is going to kick us out. <laughs> it, it uh, I see. Ooh, I see. with a down B. Doesn't get the, the knockback angle. Either. Ooh, just missed that. Goes again. I actually like that. And it... Caleb all over him. Blows <laughs> options off the ledge. Pretty restricted over Sure. Well, oh, that fastball up here. Well, that was so quick. Won't do it. Close, close to kill percent there. Ooh, good single. Yeah, so that single is one of the ways he can, you know, kind of create a new option. Yeah, a little bit of a mix up. Other angles, right? Sure. Well, definitely didn't mean to smash. So you know this matchup obviously very well. You play a lot of Pika Dittos too. Do you do you prefer grounded Pika or top flat? Oh, definitely grounded. I mean, that's the normal way. That's the standard play. way, yeah. But low, uh, I think takes it. That's maybe it. maybe they're trying to figure out. They're trying it's to figure out, five. yeah. I, th I think they're. We got Justin. Justin should know. Justin coming over. 